Police in Spain nabbed one of England's most wanted fugitives this week. The cops went in heavy because of the intense violence that surrounded him and his organized crime gang. The mob reporter here with the story of Jamie Rothwell, a perplexing crime feud, and why a Spanish SWAT team grabbed him from his sunny hideaway. Rothwell is said to have been the right-hand man of a gang boss in Manchester, a region of about three million people in the north of England. Manchester and its surrounding towns was where a successful drugs and crime gang emerged about a decade ago. In England, such gangs often call themselves firms, and this firm called themselves the A-Team. They were young and bold. They grew to about 50 members. They took control of a good chunk of the region's cocaine and cannabis market. As money rolled in, members of the A-Team were living the high life of nightclubs and holidays in Spain. But then something happened. Apparently there was some argy-bargy in a nightclub, creating a rift that became a formal hard split between the firm and a smaller faction. The oppositional group's motive was revealed in their name. They called their firm the Anti-A Team. Now what they lacked in imagination in the naming department was made up for in their tactical superiority. The Anti-A Team was quickly outmatching the A Team in a deadly dangerous gang war despite their much smaller size. The anti-A team placed tracking devices on the A team members' cars and picked them off one at a time in a series of shootings, car chases, and machete ambushes. As a show of strength and their resources, the anti-A team threw a grenade at the home of two brothers in the A team. The A team tried to fight back. After the grenade attack, A team gunmen shot up the right-hand man of the anti's boss when he was dropped off carrying his dry cleaning at a car wash. That man escaped, injured but alive. That man was Jamie Rothwell, who was just arrested in Spain. Rothwell was shot in the abdomen, the wrist, and the groin, but kept running for cover. That was in March 2015. The anti-A team hit back at a sensitive target of its own, the A team's mentor, the older gangster, named Paul Massey. Massey was shot dead. In frustration, apparently, the AT made a major push to reclaim some ground, but they botched it horribly. Instead of hitting their target, who was a close pal of the anti-A team's boss, they shot his seven-year-old son and the boy's mother. Thankfully, both survived, but the wanton shooting of a child and his mom on their doorstep of their home caused an enormous public outcry. Of what took place last night is that when a, a, a child and his mother are involved, we have turned a, a particular kind of corner. I think even some of the, the members of the crime groups will be waking up themselves and saying, we, we're not uh, going to put up with this. The police made a major effort to crack down on the gang war that was suddenly lifted out of the shadows of the underworld and splashed across the front pages of newspapers. The gang had used the same gun to shoot the family as they did in the shooting of Jamie Rothwell six months before. The botched hits made the A-Team seem weak and incompetent. In 2016, several members of the A-Team were raided in Spain. Police said investigators interrupted a planned gangland hit that targeted the anti-A-Team's boss, Michael Carroll, who was laying low on the Costa del Sol. Among the items police found in that raid were guns, ammunition, a bat, and a vest with weights in it. You can see that on the table on the right. Police alleged the plot was to kidnap Carol and then dump his body in the sea with the weighted vest to make him disappear. Last year, many of the A-Team's major players were sent to prison. Eight men were convicted for various roles in the shootings of the boy and his mom and the car wash shooting on Jamie Rothwell. Through it all, however, Jamie Rothwell had disappeared. The 33-year-old was named as a top fugitive wanted in England to face charges of plotting gangland hits in the gang feud. 
After seven months living under an international arrest warrant, Rothwell was traced to a home in Barcelona. But the cagey man moved around. Police next found his safe house, an apartment nearby, and that's where he was arrested. He now faces extradition back to England. We'll see what happens next. Thanks for watching.